ओम शांति अव्यक्ति परिवार में ओम शांति वेलकम एवरी वन टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टूडे इज जुलाई ट्वेंटी विद द फीलिंग ऑफ बींग एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड बींग हम्बल कंस्ट्रक्ट द न्यू वर्ल्ड the avyakt signal for today is constantly giving is a form of receiving for all time brahma baba lowered himself so humbly he was such a server and served with so much humility that he was even ready to massage the children's feet he always felt that the children are ahead of him and could give better lectures than he could he never put himself first he always put the children first he always let them go first and considered them to be senior because he did this he did not put himself down but in fact became even more elevated this is known as being a number one worthy server to give respect to others and keep yourself humble is a sign of having mercy for others this form of constantly giving becomes a form of receiving for all time and now we will listen to moini didi ओम शांति ओम शांति लेना लेना। टू टू गिव गिव एंड 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 रिसीव, रिसीव रिसीव टू टू गिव 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 व्हेन वी हैव समथिंग समवन, देन थॉट्स इन आर माइंड, इवन बिफोर for example you want to give love then you have to become an embodiment of love no to become an embodiment of love you can give love so that is why baba is saying that giving is receiving anything if you want to give first it you will receive it no but we don't think like this they say i did this for that i did that for this one but my account of charity kept on increasing i kept on becoming an embodiment of my own virtues if somebody says i have lot of love for everyone but in behavior it is not there in drishti it is not there in your words it is not there then others will not experience it no but if that same being an embodiment of love if it is seen in my drishti my interactions my behavior then to give i have to first imbibe it into myself baba also says the same thing that children to the extent you will become an embodiment of dharna to that extent you will become an embodiment of those virtues and then to the extent you become an embodiment of those virtues then automatically the service will continue to happen in the beginning when the yagya was started baba saw many many children got were surrendered and then it is through those children that the yagya was created but then after partition when baba came to bharat so i remember that at the, in delhi the service started bombay service started in kanpur and in many other places so many educated brothers and sisters started to come everyone had some or the other um, speciality some were in, good in writing some were good in speaking some were used to write for the newspaper so baba used to always say that my children have become even cleverer than me they have they do very good lectures baba doesn't do lectures they write very good baba does not write anything so always baba 
Hmm, used to say this. So what Abhi was saying that if I keep myself down, then it doesn't mean that I'm actually down. But if I appreciate others, if I see their speciality, which Baba did, so that didn't make Baba go down. In fact, Baba said two words for this. Everyone would say, I have received blessing from Baba to write. I have received blessing from... So I also was remembering that when, when I came into knowledge, so I had done some studies. So one time Baba said, you come to Madhuvan and then till tomorrow morning you have to reach. So there was one train in the evening, one at the night. So at that time there were no reservation systems where to, hmm? or you could travel in first class. In that days there used to be third class also. Nowadays there is no third class. There is only second, first, and then first AC, second AC like that. So. Uh, as per Baba's direction, I also sat in the train and went and reached next day. In the morning, I reached around 7.30. Baba said to me, you didn't have any trouble in in your journey. So Baba, I said, Baba, nothing, I'm fine. So then Baba said, child, 9 o'clock, 20 journalists are going to come. Baba has called you because they're coming first time. And you know that journalists will um, ask the questions in a little bit, not straight way. So then the news goes into radio and television and everywhere. So it should go properly. So till nine o'clock, you become ready, do your breakfast and at nine, they will come. So when I said to Baba, Baba, you are, I'm feeling good only, Baba. So Baba said, you will always remain good, child. And so wherever I went, uh, wherever there was service opportunity, I used to go for exhibition, for lecture, for any reason, I used to travel. And then after that, I came to foreign lands. And in foreign countries also, there was a lot of um, traveling. First, we used to stay for six months and we used to go we didn't have home countries so many used to come like that so now when in london when there was opening so i felt that if daddy janki is not there then i should go and they have done so much effort so if i go then there will be a lot of happiness so i went and came 36 hours in London I was. And in that there were so many programs. There were thousands of brothers and sisters who came on the opening. Everyone I gave Drishti and Toli. And this morning, we came. And then in the morning when we got up, it didn't feel that I did travel. So then uh, suddenly I remembered a Baba had given me this blessing. So, so what I'm trying to say is that if Baba is seeing somebody's speciality and he is expressing that, then he is narrating that, then he doesn't himself go down, but actually it becomes a blessing towards us and it remains with us for the entire life. The, the one that I experienced even at this weekend. So what I want to say is that if we give respect to others, if we appreciate to others, then we our own respect does not go down. In fact, others receive encouragement and inspiration. Baba says many times he gives us this example that mothers are there. They have done a lot of bhakti, a lot of devotion. They have bent a lot. They bow down a lot. So mothers are very tired. So on the path of devotion, they show that Lakshmi is massaging the feet of Narayan, so Baba says, what will there be something in the golden age that will cause Narayan to become tired? But it is in the gold, in the confluence age that Baba will actually massage the feet of mothers. And so always Baba huh, used to keep the children ahead of himself. One time Baba said that, see, her lectures are so good. So many points they give. So they are number one. 
So in jokingly, Baba said, but number one I am, nobody else can become number one. So he's given respect, but after giving respect, my own respect doesn't go down. Baba said, why I am number one? Because whatever someone does lecture or exhibition, but I always give happiness to everyone. I always give suk to everyone. Nobody gives like this kind of happiness to anyone. So Baba also understood his own speciality and also he was able to narrate others' speciality. Baba never said I first. Baba always said, children are ahead of me. So Baba said, where is one thing where I'm going down? Hmm? So you're not actually putting yourself down, but you're actually going upwards. It's very subtle. Are you understanding this? That uh, you're not bending, you're not bowing. You're hmm? how others are able to receive respect while, res while uh, talking about their speciality. Then everyone can remember their speciality. Not that I am down, I don't have anything. I don't know if I don't have received, I didn't receive any blessings. So these kinds of thoughts should not emerge. Yeah, this one doesn't have this. But I have to remember my own speciality as well. So to give respect to others, I can become humble and this itself is huh, big. Thing. One is um, one is elevated karma and one is charitable action. Elevated actions everyone does, but uh, charitable actions not everyone does. So what Baba is saying that when you are able to give respect to others and um, you're able to be humble, then this itself is a sign of having mercy for others. So today's homework is to give. Giving is the form of receiving for all time. So see today, if you uh, do someone, some hospitality, then uh, you will become like Baba. No? Why I should do? If I think like this, then I will not get any regard. So always remember to give is, is to receive for all time. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Avyak, Murli Revision, Chit Chat with the Hearts of the Angels. Avyakt Murli, 29th April 1971, the method to pass the unlimited paper. Is today the end of the bhati or is it the beginning of the practical paper of the bhati? Where are uh, you going now? Are you going to the examination hall? or to your own places. When you consider yourselves to be going to the examination hall, you will be able to pass the practical paper. Do not think that you are going to your homes. No. Having completed a very big course, you are now going to the examination hall to take the highest paper. Whilst you are studying at a center, it is like studying in a school. However, when you take direct training and are studying with Babdada and the instrument Maharathis in Madhuban, the land of blessings, you should consider yourself to be a student of a college or a university. 
There is a difference between a paper given at a school and a paper given in a university. And there is also a difference in the study. So to take training in this body means to become a university student. So you are now going to take a paper of the study of the university. You only attain your status after studying at a university. In the same way, only those who pass the practical paper of the Bhatti receive a status and stage for the present time and for the future. So do not think this to be a common aspect. Although you may have been studying at a center and you may also have been taking papers this is a paper set by the university. If after having been stamped by Bab Dada and also having had the tilak applied by Bab Dada, someone fails in the practical paper, what happens? The stain of having failed is left for birth after birth. Therefore, if you have any sanskars of failing or if you feel your behavior to be like this, then before you go, finish that stain and behavior or sanskar of weakness today so that you do not fail when you go to take a proper, when you go to take a paper in the examination hall. Do you understand? You have taken that paper that was easy, but the final number or final marks are only given after the practical paper. So transform both your consciousness and vision before you go from here. What should you have in your consciousness and vision before you go from here? What should you have in your consciousness? I am taking the paper at every second. What should you have in your vision? Baba, the teacher, is teaching me, and I, the one who is studying, the soul, am a student. By going from here, having transformed your consciousness, attitude, and vision, you will not fail, but you will pass fully. So do not consider the bhati to be an ordinary thing. Keep this stamp and tila from the bhati with you always. Just as the certificate from a university enables you to get a job and enables you to attain a status. In the same way, keep this stamp and tila of the bhati with you all the time in a practical way. This is the greatest certificate of all. Those who do not have a certificate are not able to attain a status. Similarly, this too is a certificate. It is a certificate for the present and future attainment and success. A certificate is always carefully looked after. Through carelessness, you may lose it. Therefore, never be influenced by Maya and allow carelessness into your effort. Otherwise, you will think that you have a certificate, but Maya, Ravan, will have stolen it. Just as thugs of today and even pickpockets do everything in such a clever way so that externally you are not aware of anything, but the pocket is quietly emptied. In the same way, if you bring carelessness in your thought, in your effort, then Ravan will quietly steal your certificate and you will not be able to attain a status. Therefore, attention, do you understand? Okay, Om Shanti. Yod.